Welcome back. Colon cancer is one of the most common cancer types in the world, and according to the World Health Organization, almost 1 million people die every year from the disease. In today's Eye on Health, we're unpacking the importance of screening for colon cancer as well as promoting healthy lifestyle habits. Nick is here in studio today to help break it all down for us. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So how does colon cancer develop? So basically what's happening is um, we have a cancer that's developing in the large intestine or the colon, and it's coming about by an accumulation of abnormal cells in the lining of the large intestine. So it happens because there's a change in the DNA, um, and we start to just get a little bit of a growth in the colon. And then if sort of left unchecked with time, those small growths, which we call polyps usually, can turn into a bigger mass and cause a problem like a colon cancer. And unfortunately, in a lot of these cases, a lot of people wait until it's too late and then we're trying to catch up from there. What are the warning signs leading up to that when someone knows they need to go get checked out? Yeah, absolutely. I think part of the tough thing is when you get that beginning stage with just the small growth, um, you aren't seeing much. So you can have a little polyp or growth in the colon and not be seeing anything. Uh, but once you've developed something where there's a larger mass, there could be things like red blood um, that you're seeing in the toilet or a change in the size or the consistency of the stool. Some people develop some discomfort in the abdomen. Uh, there can be some weakness or fatigue. A doctor might detect that somebody's low in iron stores and there could be things like unintentional weight loss. But unfortunately, when we get to those stages, usually we're getting to a place where this has um, progressed and isn't quite as treatable as those earlier stages. So then what is the best way to prevent? Great question. So screening is something that we've developed trying to uh, go ahead and, and prevent the full development of cancer for people. What we want to do is catch those little growths at the initial stage when we can just remove them. And so one of the best ways to do that is with a colonoscopy. And that's a type of procedure where People are on a clear liquid diet the day before and they have to take a drink that's gonna clean out the bowels. Um, they come in for a procedure that they're usually asleep for, so it's a comfortable procedure. And then a doctor um, takes a look through the colon, removing any of those small growths, trying to find them. Uh, there's a couple other stool tests that we use for patients that, where a colonoscopy isn't the best test for them. And what we like to say is doing some test is better than choosing to just avoid the process altogether. Yeah, and truthfully, the liquid is the hardest part about the colonoscopy, <laughs> drinking that stuff. You are correct. <laughs> that is what everybody says. Most people, if they can get through that part, think the actual uh, procedure it's is a breeze. It's a breeze, yeah. yep. So yeah. are there any groups that are more susceptible, or is this anything that everyone should be getting screened for? Awesome question. Yes, so family can play a role. So when you've got a first degree family member that has a history of colon cancer or a history of one of these growths, a polyp, that can put somebody at an increased risk. There are hereditary syndromes that can increase the risk. Um, conditions like inflammatory bowel disease, things like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, um, all those people are at a little bit of risk. And then there's some like modifiable lifestyle risk factors that put us at risk. Um, so things like uh, a high fat diet, a low fiber amount in the diet, um, they think exercise could be preventative, high amounts of alcohol and tobacco can be risky for us, and then our age also can increase the risk. Is this something that the younger generation should be worried about? Oh, so this is one of the hardest parts about what's sort of developing over the last few years. Um, you guys probably remember Chadwick Boseman from the Black Panther, he had kind of a um, uh, it was well recognized yeah. that he had colorectal cancer, he died at a really young age from it, and it kind of brought to light what we're seeing, which is that young people are developing this too. So in 2021, they changed screening guidelines from the age of 50, which is what it used to be, now it's 45. So anybody that's 45 should be able to start getting screening colonoscopies. But we do see about 20% of colorectal cancer in people under 55 right now. Wow. And there's a trend that we're getting to have more risk in the younger generation. They think that millennials probably have twice the risk of people that were born in the 1950s. And, and we don't know exactly why. And so it's concerning, but there's a lot of research being done on that right now. 
Yeah, well, we thank you so much for your time and for sharing this wealth of knowledge. We certainly hope that this will help a lot of people. We're spreading the word, so thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.